What's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Erin. I have a serious addiction to Amazon and Target lately. I know everyone loves them, but I'm addicted. Like it's been really, really bad. My husband has asked me to take just one, one week off with no purchases from Amazon or Target because I have accumulated way too much cardboard. So in the last month and a half, I have found some gems off of Amazon that I will be sharing with you today. Before I review all of my purchases with you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I will have everything linked in my description box. If you do purchase from one of these links, I do make a very small commission off of that. So I do want to say thank you for supporting me, my channel, and my shopping addiction. Last year, I went skiing for the first time and one time only, and I absolutely fell in love. I am not an athletic person whatsoever. I suck at dancing. I can barely stay on a horse. I can't play soccer. So when it came to skiing, I was blown away at how great I was. And I'm okay with tooting my own horn about it because I was that good and I am that unathletic. So I'm actually going skiing again this Thursday and I'm really excited. So I picked up some new pieces off of Amazon. I don't think I'm at the point where I can drop $300 on a pair of North Face snow pants for skiing, but I can buy a $60 pair of snow pants off Amazon. I grabbed this exact same pair last year in white, but this time I picked it up in, I think it's called Daybreak Beige, and I think they were like $56. Amazon sellers do constantly change their prices, so you could get it for a couple dollars more or a couple dollars less than what I picked it up for. So these fit perfectly. I am a small, they are true to size. They do sit high up like on my belly button so it's nice and comfortable and they kept me so warm. It is going to be a little colder than last time I went skiing so I did want to make sure that the quality of the items that I picked up were waterproof, insulated, whole nine yards so that I don't end up freezing and complaining the entire time. To go with my new ski pants, I had to pick up a new ski jacket. So that, the outfit I got last year was white pants and like a gray camo jacket and I know skiing isn't about fashion but I just felt ugly and I don't want to feel ugly when I'm doing something that's so much fun. I know girls can look so cute in like their bright colors on the slopes but that's just not me. Like this is as colorful as you're ever going to see. So obviously still has the tags on it, but it's insulated. It is waterproof. This has incredible reviews on Amazon. And I'm pretty sure it's the same brand of the jacket I picked up last year, just in an all black. I also think it's a three in one jacket. Yeah, it is. So all of this can come apart if it ends up being like a warmer day or if I get hot while skiing. I can take off this other layer. This jacket was $81, which kind of seems expensive to me, but when I was on Dick's looking at all of the ski gear, everything was like $300 plus for a ski jacket. And again, this is just my second time skiing, so I'm not trying to splurge that much on a sport until I'm like, yes, this is my sport. I absolutely love it. Let's go balls to the walls. So I thought the $80 jacket was the perfect price point. I'm not going to lie, I do not drink enough water and I am foolish enough to believe that a cute water cup will make me drink more water. So I picked up this tumbler. This comes in dozens of colors on Amazon and it was only $15. <sighs> but I don't know, I really don't know. This has like 13,000 five-star reviews and it's supposed to keep your water like ice cold and be the greatest. I've only used it once, I just got it like two days ago and I don't know, like dust and everything sticks to this and I did fill it up with ice water the first time I used it. The ice melted, my cup was sweating, it just, I don't know, like yeah, is it aesthetically pleasing? Sure. But is it the best water cup I've ever used? Absolutely not. And I feel like this is an extremely unpopular opinion on this. I just, I don't know. Like the more I look at it, I'm like, yeah, you're cute, but I already have a cute tumbler. So this is gonna be a no for me and I will be returning it. If you're new to my channel, I am not someone that just shows you all of the good. I am not hoping that you purchase everything I'm showing you so I can make commission off of you. It's never been what I'm about or what my channel is about. So if I buy something with my own money and I don't like it, I'm going to tell you about it. I have three more ski items that I'm going to go over really quickly. So ski socks are an absolute must. 
I did not wear ski socks my first time and I had a lot of trouble with putting my boots on. I honestly thought that my legs were snapping once the boots finally clipped in place. The quality feels absolutely unreal. They are padded in certain areas and thinner in the areas that you need them to be. Because it is going to be colder this time, I don't know what this thing is called. Like. A gator? Is this a gator? A gainer? I don't know. I don't know about your state, but in Massachusetts, you have to have a mask on at all times. So I figured this would be good to just pull up around my nose and then obviously wear with my helmet. I will be nice and comfortable and warm. And the last item I picked up are thermals to wear underneath. It does get really hot underneath all of your snow gear. So they are really thin, but a little bit fuzzy inside, which is really nice. It comes as a set. I actually ordered two by accident, so I will be returning turning one but yeah super super comfortable if you are not new to my channel then you've probably noticed I'm wearing different earrings so I have a pair of hoops from Amazon that I wear all day every day to meetings to dinner parties to literally everything the grocery store they are the perfect hoop but I wear them so much that the gold plating has finally started to fade so I decided to pick up new ones. I gave you guys a quick glimpse of these on my Instagram and you went absolutely nuts because these are so tiny and my camera is not focusing. I'm going to insert some clips for you so that you could see the detail on these. They are absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love a gold hoop. I love a small gold hoop. I feel like anytime I wear a really big hoop or a really chunky pair of earrings, they're just too overwhelming on me. So these being so small and dainty and have attention to detail mean everything to me. I am going to wear these until the gold falls off as well. I am also super, 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 super sensitive to jewelry and I haven't had any issues with these so far. I have worn all three pairs a couple days already and my ears are not in Infected, not red, not falling off. So you should be all set too if you have sensitive skin like I do. I cannot remember who I saw purchase these, um, but shout out for the inspo because I'm obsessed. So I picked up these glass jars off of, obviously off of Amazon if I'm showing you them right now. And they were $43. It came with 12 of them and stickers. The girl that I saw that purchased these did order stickers from Etsy, which is what I'm going to do because the ones that came on here are super random. Like, Flour, why would I put flour in something this small? This doesn't even look like a cup. Absolutely wild to me. I have been organizing my house like a mad woman, so I do have a couple other organizing items for you today. The next organizing item I'm not gonna take out of my shelf, so I'll insert a clip, but it is this water belt, this water bottles, wow, this water bottle storage container. It is pretty expensive. I think it was like $36. So I'm going to try and find one that's more affordable for you guys. I just don't think $36 is worth organizing six water bottles in your pantry. So I'm not sure why I bought it. But anyways, one of my cabinets was just overflowing with water bottles, tumblers, Yetis, you name it. And a lot of them were missing straws, missing lids, mismatched. And I was just like, I'm not having it anymore. So I am happy to have the space a little bit more organized. I just don't feel like the price tag was actually worth that satisfaction. Besides organizing my house, I have been heavily focused on finishing off just little details, little corners in our home that have just felt really empty and incomplete. So I decided first to focus on our nightstands. Our bedroom was a decent size, but our furniture is so big that it took up a lot of space in our bedroom. So I didn't want it to feel any more crowded than it kind of already is right now. So on the nightstand, I wanted to keep it super minimal and I'm still decorating it. The first one is this ceramic diffuser and I'm absolutely obsessed. I did think it was gonna come in a little bit bigger and I was kind of nervous that it was, but I am happy with the size of it. So I fill this up before bed. I let it run all night until it shuts off. But the real reason why I wanted this is because girl, it is dry. And my nose is either dry where I can't breathe when I wake up in the morning or running like a faucet. So now that I turn this on, when I go to bed every night, I wake up and I'm clear, I'm not congested. My nose isn't running. It is helping me sleep a lot better. You're probably looking at this watercraft and thinking, Erin, you are a bougie bitch and I am like I don't care you might think that this item is absolutely out of my mind but I'm telling you it is life-changing so because it does get so dry in our bedroom there are some nights I wake up and I'm just coughing like there's something that's stuck in my throat might be a spider, but we're not gonna talk about that. That's like the worst nightmare ever. So this makes it so much better than me fighting to have to get out of bed, walk into our garage, grab a bottle of water, come back to bed. At that point, I'm wide awake. I don't want that. No one wants 
wants that. So with this watercraft, I just take off the top, which is the glass, pour me a glass of water, quench my thirst, and put my ass back to sleep, and it is a beautiful thing. I saw this on TikTok and thought it was the most genius thing. Had to have it, got it, and I'm obsessed with it, and I think you will be too. The look I was going for was just something clean and minimal, but they do have some really, really gorgeous ones, so I will leave a few links for you. The last item that you are probably thinking, Erin, why did you need that? I didn't, I really didn't, but I see it on every influencer's page, on every single TikTok. I'm absolutely obsessed with the little candles that people make too. And honestly, she's got a banging body. That girl is thick. The one I purchased is a vase. I just don't think I'm going to be putting anything in it. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw me passive aggressively bash my husband with how he does not put his clothes away. So when I go into our guest bedroom that my husband uses as literally his closet and just has his clothes thrown everywhere it makes me so angry but instead of wasting all of that energy and getting mad at him i decided to channel it into helping him and better organizing his clothes for him. So I picked up these drawer organizers and I was hoping that I was going to be able to organize his socks with them, but my husband does wear, I don't even know what they're called, like tubular socks, longer socks, for work, for the gym, for soccer, which were never going to fit in here. So luckily they did fit all of his underwear. On top of owning an insane amount of socks, he also owns a lot of hats. So his hats were being hung behind our guest bedroom door and every time I tried to open the door, it would only open halfway because there were so many hats again these little things that drive me insane that aren't worth getting upset about so again solve the problem don't make a little problem a big problem therapy is helping me in that regard i decided to pick up this clear hat container so the clear hat storage allows him to be able to see all of his hats where they are so we can easily unzip it grab one but it also just stores them neatly away instead of taking up so much space in a bedroom. The last item I picked up to help organize his space better were these pant hangers. Where I wanted to keep his new hat storage is where all of his jeans were just everywhere. So I figured because he had so much space in his closet, I would move his jeans down onto hangers and it's so much better. He had a ton of jeans that just don't fit him anymore. He wasn't wearing that were taking up a lot of space. So we were able to donate those and neatly hang up the jeans that he does wear. Because our bedroom now has two lamps, two iPhone chargers, a diffuser, an extension cord was just not working. I needed something that was going to be an even space for both of us with everything that we have plugged in. So I grabbed this and it did come with two. I'm planning on using this one in my office because I'm staring at a ton of wires right now that could just be more neater, a little bit more neat. You can see like, see a little like twitch in my eyes, just drives me absolutely insane. So this has been great, absolutely no issues with it. Um, Just keeps everything neat and organized. If you have a problem, Amazon has a solution, I promise you. If you follow me on TikTok, then you saw my cringy Valentine's Day top videos. I'm so sorry about that. It's like sometimes I just see these fashion girls on TikTok and I'm like, Erin, be cool like them. And then I do it and I'm like, no, it was so cringy. So the first top I picked up is this lingerie style crop top. And at first I was like, ooh, this is not my style. It's not gonna look cute. I love this. Like this is what I'm going to be wearing on Valentine's Day with a pair of black leather pants or black leather leggings. Like talk about sexy with not doing the absolute most. Oh my God. Does anyone else's nose run like a water faucet when they have makeup on? I don't know what it is, but it's annoying. This next top I purchased as a Valentine's Day piece is this stunner. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The velvet is so freaking soft. So you have the corset top and I just have one buttoned, but it obviously closed. Look how freaking cute. You have a nice puffy sleeve. This is obviously going to expose your chest pretty much as much as this shirt is doing. I think with how much your chest is exposed and then the length of the sleeve, you can be okay. Even though I won't be wearing this for Valentine's Day, I am definitely saving it for a date night or something with my girls. Like if I go to grab drinks, just because it is something fun and I'm not usually a color person. I just mentioned how the wires underneath my desk are absolutely insane. So one of the items I picked up to better organize this space is this wire like container. So my desk does consist of my editing space, my filming space, and my full-time work from home space. So I have a lot of wires and a lot going on over here with my lighting, with my camera, with my 
desktop with my laptop and all of the wires were just driving me insane. We do have a Roomba, which I run every single day and I can't leave it alone in this room. It sounds like a child or a pet, but I was not able to leave this vacuum alone in our room before because it would just eat up all of those wires and knock my ring lights everywhere and just create such a mess. So with this little box organizing everything, it just picked up all of those wires off of the floor and I don't need to worry about it anymore. I might have mentioned this journal in my last Amazon video, but it is the Burn After Writing by Sharon Jones and it's hilarious. I have been going to therapy to work on how I handle situations. So I am the type of person that has no poker face. If I feel some type of way, you are going to know before I even tell you how I feel because it is written and explained all in my facial expressions. But even beyond that, I can get so worked up where I feel the need that I have to express myself and I can do it in a poor fashion or it comes off wrong or after I feel guilty about what I did say even though I feel better that I did say something. So instead of handling situations like that, I turn to this book to let it all out. I'm sure like you, I have been a victim of subtweeting or getting upset about something online and wanting to post a Facebook status about it, just being so passive aggressive and that behavior is not worth my time or energy. So with this book, I go through through and I answer some of these questions really, really honestly. And it's just fun to focus that negative petty, petty energy and put it into this book. The water bottle organizer I mentioned earlier was actually $26, not $36 which makes me feel a little better. But then when you see the refrigerator organizer I picked up for like 30 bucks, it's like, why? This was so good. My refrigerator stays so clean, so immaculate. Nothing goes to waste anymore because I can see everything. Oh my God, I absolutely love, love, love having an organized refrigerator. So if you are guilty of letting things go to waste or buying two Italian dressings when you already have one, then try organizing your refrigerator and I promise it will help you. The last two items are clothing items, so. <laughs> These probably look so funny. They came in a two pack, white and black, and it's a mock neck turtleneck. So if you love the layering look, but hate to layer because you just feel so stuffy and get so hot, these are a game changer. So I absolutely love popping one of these on, throwing a crew neck on over it, and you are good to go. If you guys can count on me for one thing when it comes to Amazon, it is finding the best fitness sets. So this bad boy, like look at the red. Oh my God, red is so hot and powerful. I picked this set up in a small and it does fit true to size. There is padding inside the sports bra. I always take mine out. This does come in so many different colors, so many different sizes. So if red is just like a little too much for you, they do have some more muted ones. But yeah, this set is, this set makes you look really good. That's going to be it for this Amazon haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. I tend to share these items with you over on my Instagram stories before I sit down and just film a complete collective haul for you guys. So thank you again for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next video, which is probably going to be a Target haul. <laughs>